speaks. Will Smith is not the giant that he is solely on the merits of Will Smith or his family. Um, there are 300 corporations that are a part of the Will Smith business. Fact. They have decided that they were finished with Will when he did After Earth with Jade. You know, Will Smith has always been that superstar everyone adores, right? Like, he's got this golden aura around him, and it feels like he can do no wrong. But then, here comes Cat Williams, throwing shade and flipping the script. He's basically saying we've all been duped, that the Will Smith we've been worshipping is just a mirage, and behind that charming smile might lurk something darker. He even hints that Smith might be worse than his buddy Diddy, and that's saying something. So why would Cat Williams stir the pot like this. Well, if you've been paying attention, everything he's been calling out seems to come true sooner or later. Take Diddy, for example. It's like he's constantly in hot water. And anyone connected to him feels the heat, too. And now, Williams is pointing fingers at Smith, suggesting he's been knee-deep in sketchy stuff all along. In one interview bombshell, Kat spills the tea that Smith might be a power slave, doing whatever it takes to climb that celebrity ladder. This implies he's got puppeteers pulling his strings, controlling his moves behind the scenes. Will Smith is not the giant that he is solely on the merits of Will Smith or his family. Um, there are 300 corporations that are a part of the Will Smith business. And if you are the people that are in business with him, when you decide that you go do something, you can do it too. Remember the whole Oscars drama where Smith smacked Chris Rock? Well, Williams suggests it was all a setup, a carefully orchestrated show to keep Smith in check. Williams emphasizes that in the world of showbiz, where illusion often trumps reality, such stage dramas are more common than one might think. We have to understand that these are two giants in our field if you're a black person. This is the two guys, too big and too good to be involved in what they're in. That would make sense if it was me and Michael Blackson slapping each other, not Will Smith and Chris Rock. When two large boulders come together and you can't see Chris Rock winning at all, he's humiliated. If you were going to slap a comedian, he was the number one to slap. Head of the Coons. So if you're gonna slap him, you just need the greatest guy, the best guy, the one who's shown us his best behavior since the 90s. That guy is the one who will have to slap him in order for the type of ratings we need and attention to be on this thing. He's humiliated. If you were gonna slap a comedian, he was the number one to So slapable. And if you gonna slap him, you just need the greatest guy. That guy is the one that will have to slap in order for the type of ratings we need and attention to be on this thing. See. Moreover, Williams suggests that Smith's decline in recent projects, such as the ill-fated After Earth with his son Jaden, signals a deliberate move by these puppeteers to discredit and sideline him. By orchestrating scenarios that lead to public scrutiny and professional setbacks, they effectively render Smith unemployable in the eyes of Hollywood's power brokers. They fiddle with the perception of the people, and that's part of the job. Back in the day, it used to be called propaganda. Now it's just called business. They don't say we gotta smear the candidate, they just smear him. Him. Whoever made you is qualified to break you. That's the end of it. When they bought you and put you on that Fox show, it was because you were going to do this and only this. You'll never do that. As soon as you breach that, they done with you too. They decided they were finished with Will when he did After Earth with Jaden. From there, they've done what was necessary to take him from 20 million a movie to put him in a position where maybe it can appear he has a nervous breakdown and is now unemployable. Fact. They have decided that they were finished with Will when he did After Earth with Jaden alone. And from there they've done what was necessary to take him from a 20 million dollar a movie Correct. to put him in a position where maybe it can appear he has a nervous breakdown and now is unemployable. Drawing parallels to the ongoing controversies surrounding Diddy, Williams implies that both Smith and Diddy are victims of a system that chews up and spits out its brightest stars when they are no longer deemed useful. It's really eye-opening how messed up Hollywood can get. It's like some of our favorite celebs will do just about anything to climb that fame and power ladder, but then then, when they reach the top, they start pulling some seriously shady stuff, thinking they're untouchable thanks to their puppeteers. But as they say, what happens in the dark always finds its way into the light. For instance, there have been whispers about his Will Smith's SEX preference floating around for ages, even though he's been married to Jada Pinkett Smith forever. Some people are starting to wonder if their whole relationship is just a front, covering up something way more complicated. He got caught up in rumors of dating his male co-star Dwayne Martin. Back in November, 2023, 
Murray, a former friend and assistant of Smith Bilal, spilled some major tea during an interview with YouTuber Tasha Kay. According to Bilal, he walked in on Will Smith and Dwayne Martin getting up to some adult activities in Martin's dressing room. So I, I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne and have an anal with Will. And the drama doesn't stop there. Rumors also circulate that Will's connection with Dwayne Martin might have played a role in the divorce of Tisha Campbell and Dwayne. YouTube sensation Trisha Paytas also decided to add her two cents, accusing Will Smith of allegedly making her male dancers do more than just dance. According to Trisha, these dancers found themselves in some seriously uncomfortable situations against their will. Now, let's rewind to 2016. The late actress Alexis Arquette claimed that Will Smith's ex-wife, Sherry Zampino, divorced him because she caught Will in bed with another man. According to Daily Mail, Arquette spilled the tea in a now-deleted Facebook post, hinting that Jada Pinkett Smith might have a story of her own to tell. In the words of Alexis, when Jada comes out as and her beard husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked into him servicing his sugar daddy, Benny Medina, then I will listen to them. And let's not forget about Will's bromance with Diddy. It was even Diddy who that swooped to save the day at the 2022 Academy Awards. He tried to cool things down and make it seem all chill. Bill and Chris, we're gonna solve that like family at the gold party, okay? But right now we're moving on with love. Everybody make some noise. But now the grapevine is buzzing with rumors that their relationship might be more than just a bromance. Word on the street is they might be involved in some shady stuff, similar to what went down with Bryshare Gray. Let's do a quick rundown on the mystery surrounding Bryshare's disappearance from the scene. Remember when he was rocking it on Empire? And everyone thought he was on the fast track to superstardom post-Empire? Well, here's the tea turns out his exit from the industry wasn't exactly by choice. The rumor mill is buzzing with whispers that Bryshare got the old blackball treatment from none other than Will Smith and Diddy. Why, you ask? Well, apparently Bryshear wanted out of their alleged freak-offs, and that didn't sit too well with the big names. So, cue the consequences and enter the cancel culture. Bryshear was out of the industry faster than you can say Hollywood drama. Now, if you're wondering how he got into this mess in the first place, let me lay it out for you. Back in his teenage days, Bryshear crossed paths with Charlie Mack, a talent manager extraordinaire. Charlie, being the magician he is, snagged Bryshear an audition for Empire, and the dude aced it, landing the role. Fast forward to Hollywood, with Charlie playing manager and guiding Bry Shear through the industry maze. Charlie wasn't just any manager, he was the plug. He had connections that could make your head spin, linking Bry Shear with the big shots in Tinseltown, including none other than Will Smith. Will and Bry Shear hit it off like a house on fire right from the get go. Bry Shear was kicking it on Empire, and Will was all kinds of impressed. So naturally, a mentorship dynamic kicked in, making it seem like the dream team in the making. I mean, who wouldn't want to be mentored by the Fresh Prince himself? Now, this sounds like a sweet deal on paper, but you know how the saying goes, not everything that glitters is gold. So after Diddy and Will allegedly roped Bryshear into these freak-offs, promising to boost his career in return, after a few rounds of this explicit lifestyle, Bryshear had enough and opted out, finding it all too much to handle. Now Bryshear's decision to distance himself from Diddy and Will came right before Empire wrapped up, leaving him jobless. Post-Empire, Bryshear's life took a nosedive, and initially, it seemed like he might not have handled his fame well. But the real kicker is the alleged fall out with Diddy and Will, who according to rumors were furious that Bryshear dared to walk away. Allegedly, they didn't take kindly to his departure and supposedly pulled some strings to blacklist him from the industry. Remember how Cassie spilled the tea about Diddy threatening her career when she tried to leave? Well, if the rumors are to be believed, Bryshear faced a similar fate. Allegedly, Diddy and Will ruined his career as a form of revenge, and there are even whispers that they allegedly used threats to keep him silent. Ever wondered why Bryshear's career did didn't soar despite having A-list mentors like Will Smith and Diddy? Well, the rumors suggest they might be the ones who allegedly kicked him out of the spotlight in the first place. Also, Will Smith's antics in the family department is taking a bizarre turn. You might not have caught wind of this, but there's some talk about Will's peculiar way of showing affection to his own son, Jaden. Fans are side-eyeing Smith for what they're calling creepy and weird behavior as a father figure, especially towards Jaden. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay?
And then there's the rumors about Jaden Smith's love life that's been swirling for a while now, with whispers about his potential involvement with both guys and girls. While he's never publicly spilled the beans on his SEX orientation, back in 2014, he briefly mentioned dating Tyler, the creator, in an interview. So, you know, the mystery continues. Tyler, the creator, is my f boyfriend! It's true! But let's swing back to Papa Smith for a sec. It's kind of strange that he got all riled up about news suggesting Jaden might be dating a man, but hush-hush about his own doings behind closed doors. Will dropped some wisdom bombs during an interview, saying he and Jaden are all about letting their kids discover themselves because, in his words, you can never be happy being what you're not. Sounds all great, right? Well, here's the twist. In the same interview, Will called Jaden for not keeping things under wraps in his life. And it gets even more complicated. Jaden seems to be a bit fed up with the Smith family situation. He's been vocal about wishing Tupac could be his dad instead of Will because, according to Jaden, Will isn't giving him the support he craves. He's even throwing it back to the supposed best connection in the world, the one he had with his mom. Her heart. Best friends. Right. Like, <laughs> well, they say maybe your best friend, but I'm glad they did. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's like, so high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? According to Jaden, he didn't fully grasp the magnitude of his parents' impact until he stepped out into the world and felt the weight of the expectations tied to the Smith name. It seems like the Smiths are basically hip hop royalty, making waves in a way that's left a lasting impression on the world. On the flip side, Jaden's sister, Willow Smith, threw us all for a loop with a letter she penned to the late Tupac when she was just 11. In this heartfelt note, she was practically begging him to make a comeback for the sake of her mom's happiness. The whole thing got aired out on social media by influencer Kevin Samuels during a podcast, and he couldn't help but point out the irony of a little girl writing to Tupac instead of, say, Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny. Like, why Tupac? And this is what's going on in your house. Your wife is in love with a dead man. Dear, dear Tupac, I think my mommy really misses you. Can you please come back? Can you come back so me and my mommy can be happy? I wish you were here. I really do. Willow never met Tupac. Why is this little girl writing a letter to Tupac? Why is Will Smith's daughter writing a letter to Tupac? Now this brings us to the meaty part, Will Smith's role as a father and husband. It seems like there's a bit of a disconnect here. Jaden's openly expressing his preference for Tupac over his own dad, and Willow's writing love letters to a deceased rapper. Not exactly your typical family dynamics. Also, Tupac and Diddy weren't exactly best buds. In fact, they were on the opposite ends of the spectrum, and Tupac considered Diddy as an enemy. Now here's where it gets intriguing. Will Smith seems to have a fondness for Diddy, who was a big supporter of Biggie, Tupac's natural adversary. Could this be a case of choosing sides? Jaden in particular doesn't seem too thrilled about Diddy, perhaps because he's already made his preference clear, Tupac over Smith. But it's not just the kids who have a soft spot for Tupac. Turns out, Jada herself has been carrying a torch for her long-lost friend, and Will Smith spilled the tea on his feelings of jealousy in a recent interview. When asked if he ever felt a tinge of jealousy about Jada's deep connection with Tupac, Will didn't hold back. He went all in, saying, oh, F, yeah, oh my God, that was in the early days. Apparently, Jada and Tupac had this deep, non-romantic love going on, having grown up together, but they reached that age where things could have taken a turn, and that's when Jada was with Will. Uh, were you ever jealous of the love Jada had for Tupac? Uh, oh, f yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna oh say no. Oh my God, that dude, you know, they grew up together, and, you know, they loved each other, but they never had that, you know, they never had a, a relationship but they had come into that age where now that was a possibility and then jada was with me will bared it all confessing that he was the soft rapper from philly feeling deeply insecure about competing with the larger than life tupac he admitted to not being man enough to handle the situation well according to will jada saw tupac as the image of perfection and he just couldn't handle the weight of that comparison i couldn't i couldn't handle it you know i was this i was the soft rapper from Right. And he was Pac. Right. Yeah, no, I was <laughs> deeply, deeply um, uh, insecure. As their relationship progressed, Will felt an odd happiness when Jada spent less time with Tupac. He even called it a twisted kind of victory. He shared, if she chooses me over Tupac, there was no way I could be a coward. I have rarely felt more validated. Will confessed that even though he was in the same room as Tupac multiple times, he never spoke to him. The way Jada loved Pac, according to Will, made it impossible for him to be friends with the legendary rapper. He chalked it up to his own immaturity at the time. And if you didn't 
didn't know, Jada Pinkett and Tupac had this super tight friendship that went way back to their Baltimore school for the arts days. They bonded over their love for the arts and became inseparable. Now, despite all the rumors and speculation floating around, both Jada and Tupac were like, no, it's just platonic. Jada once spilled the beans saying, I really did believe that he was going to be here for the long run. And so when I think about it, I still get really mad. I get mad at God. I get mad at him. I get mad at everybody. So, you know, it was a deep connection. I really did believe that he was going to be here for the long run. Right. And so when I think about it, I still get really mad. Now, connecting the dots, some folks are thinking maybe Jada had more love for Tupac than her husband, Will. I mean, Will did admit feeling insecure about their bond. And if that's not enough, he's been hanging out a lot with his buddy Diddy. But it gets deeper. There's also the rumor about what Will Smith must have done with none other than Quincy Jones. Let's do a quick rundown on that. So, Jamie Foxx recently spilled some juicy details during a chat with Scott Evans from Access Hollywood. Flashback to 2005. Jamie's on cloud nine after bagging that Academy Award for playing Ray Charles, and the celebration is in full swing. But here's where it takes a wild turn. OPR Winfrey randomly hits him up. OPR being OPR isn't about to sugarcoat things. She straight up tells Jamie, you're blowing it. And just when you think it can't get any crazier, OPR decides to take him somewhere to make him really grasp the magnitude of the situation. Listen, man, you're doing good, man. We just don't want you to blow it, baby. So we go in the house and there's all these old actors black actors from the 60s and the 70s. OPR, with anticipation, asks if he's ready to meet the person she's brought for him. Surprise, it's Sidney Poitier. Poitier reminisces about seeing Fox at a party, prompting Fox's confirmation. Moved, Poitier admits that Fox's performance made him grow artistically, comparing it to a two-inch growth, and promises to share something meaningful with him. So, let me break it down. Fox getting the heebie-jeebies from Jones might seem random, but trust me, it's a big deal. Now, if you're even a little into Hollywood vibes, you've got to know Quincy Jones. He's the real deal. We're talking legendary producer, musician, songwriter, the whole shebang. They even call him the black godfather of the industry, and for good reason. Quincy's track record is a who's who of the music scene. Frank Sinatra, Aretha Franklin, Rufus and Chaka Khan, and oh, the king himself, Michael Jackson. But why is he always making headlines? Well, it's not just the music magic. There's something about Quincy that's kept him in the spotlight for decades. There's always been this speculation about Quincy's SEX preference, with some wild claims that he sort of nudged guys into gay relationships to their Hollywood game. I know, sounds scandalous, right? And the list of supposed flings linked to Quincy is like an endless scroll. But if we're talking about the juiciest bits, two names always take the spotlight in Quincy Jones's romantic saga, none other than Tupac and the Fresh Prince himself, Will Smith. Word on the street is that Quincy Jones might have pushed them into his own version of Hollywood sleepovers. It's this kind of murky connection with Quincy that apparently left a mark, with whispers that he was trying to, you know, share his preferences. Now, flashback to this interview with Tupac, the guy spilled the beans, claiming Quincy popped the question about some, well, intimate backside matters. But here's where it gets wild. That interview, poof, gone from the entire internet, like vanished. Conspiracy or not, it takes some serious clout to wipe out a chat like that. And since Tupac's not around to give us the 411, Quincy seems to have pulled a Houdini on the whole situation, leaving us to connect the dots. Even Napoleon, when grilled about the supposed link between Tupac and Quincy, straight up shut it down in an interview. Dude denied the whole shebang and went into full-on defense mode for Jones. But you know how it goes, some folks out there still have a memory like a steel trap, and they're holding on to every word Tupac spilled in that interview, no matter how hard anyone tries to sweep it under the Hollywood rug. Now fast forward to today, there are whispers that maybe, just maybe, this is how Will Smith got into the scene and became, well, you know. And the craziest part? Rumors are swirling that he might be doing the same to other young actors. I know, it sounds outlandish, especially when it comes to the beloved friend. Fresh Prince. But what are your thoughts on all this? Write your comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Catch you in the next video.